Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown. Easy archetypes that teach essential skills. Let's talk about it. As a newcomer, you're going to notice things about Yu-Gi-Oh! that are quite difficult and hard. And so on this video, we're going to be covering the essential skills you're going to need to take you one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! master, my fellow students. And with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. Here it is. Now, I'll talk about the exclusive skill that you need to know, as you can see in front of you, known as grinding. Indeed, as a newcomer to Yu-Gi-Oh!, you're going to need to learn this skill, how to grind, what grinding is and what it is about. Grinding is performing a specific action repeatedly to increase your skills. It's usually used as a video game analogy. But what does this have to do with Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh has the same sort of analogies and can be used. For that reason, the best archetype to teach you what grinding is all about is Sky Strikers. Yes, Sky Strikers is the best archetype that teaches one what grinding is all about in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because the deck has only spells, mostly, and just two to three monsters. You have extra deck monsters as well. It performs the same action over and over and over again to get to the win condition. Sky Strikers are not particularly strong. They're not particularly great. They perform the same action over and over. But it is because they are so simple. They teach the fundamentals of what grinding is in Yu-Gi-Oh! And as a newcomer to Yu-Gi-Oh!, you need to learn the skill, the skill of grinding. Which is why I, re I definitely recommend Sky Strikers to anyone wanting to learn the skill of grinding in Yu-Gi-Oh! That's it. Let's move on to the next essential skill. And as you can see in front of you, you can see the next skill is bluffing or playing the mind games, right? With the archetype known as artifacts. Indeed, artifacts are the archetype that can teach you as a newcomer what bluffing means in Yu-Gi-Oh! But why do I say artifacts are very good for teaching bluffing? Because it's the whole arc, it's the whole archetype's playstyle. As artifacts are monsters that can be set as spell or traps, and you can you never summon them. You always set them as spell or traps and play them accordingly. It is because they have such an unusual way to be played that the art of bluffing and playing mind games with the opponent is introduced to you with this archetype. The truth you need to know. The fact that you never set a single monster, but always continuously have your back row filled full of spells and traps. That intimidation factor, that all these factors involved in how the archetype plays and what it is about can definitely teach you as a newcomer what bluffing and playing mind games with the opponent is all about. And this is an essential skill that you're going to need as a, as a Yu-Gi-Oh! player going forward. Learning how to bluff, learning how to play these intricate mind games are important. And artifacts are a great archetype to get your feet wet in order to understand this mini-game that Yu-Gi-Oh! has. Facts. And the objective my fellow students, is to get proficient with this deck. You don't need to be the best artifact player, but you do need to be familiar with how to play archetype, with how to play artifacts and the mental state that it encourages for you to play in, in its play style. It is by understanding artifacts and playing with artifacts that you understand the fundamentals of how to bluff and how to play mind games in Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, let's move on to the next skill. And here we have it. As you can see in front of you, the next skill that we're going to, I'm going to talk about here, especially for you fellow students, 
is future planning. Indeed, as you play the game, you're going to learn, you're going to need to be able to plan, to think two to three steps ahead. But this is a skill that is difficult to learn in Yu-Gi-Oh! as, as there's no way to learn this skill. But do not fret. The archetype that is best for teaching you said skill is the archetype known as Virtual World. Virtual World isn't a strong archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! In fact, it is relatively simple to play. But the way the deck is constructed and the way the deck plays, you have to plan your moves ahead. Most uh, Every single archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Most 90% of them are designed with the sole purpose of being played straight out the gate. You can just summon cards, play them, do whatever you want, and it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. However, with Virtual World, you have to plan every move. Every step you take has to be planned with how the effects are worded and with how things are. Now, you may ask yourself, that's quite intimidating and I feel afraid, I feel scared as a newcomer. But this is why I say do not be intimidated by fellow students. Do not have fear. Fear is the enemy. Right now you need to embrace what virtual worlds do and get into the mindset of planning. It is because by playing virtual world you understand a fundamental skill in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is future planning, being able to plan for the future. And virtuals are a fantastic archetype to teach you such a skill. So with that being said, this is an archetype that I highly recommend for any newcomer to be learning what planning means in Yu-Gi-Oh, planning for the future. Just planning in general, as it teaches you that essential skill that, that you're going to need to get one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. Let's go on with the overall conclusion. So as you can see, there are three skills. These three skills are vital for you as a newcomer to learn and to take you one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. Those skills are grinding, future planning, and bluffing or playing the mind games. These three skills are essential to take you to that next level in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it is vital that if you want to get ahead in Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want to become a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master, you're going to need these skills under your belt. And yeah, that's really all I've got to say in this video. But tune in next time for more. Let's explain easy archetype videos as I will cover other skills and other things that you need, my fellow students, in order to become a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.